Hey yoga friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I'm Kelsey Yogi here on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And today we are doing bum, ba, da, a tip in a dolphin. So dolphin is rarely anybody's favorite posture. It's pretty tough, especially if you have very strong, very tight shoulders. Dolphin can be a little uncomfortable. Normally when we set up for dolphin, it is, well, first of all, dolphin is the forearm version of downward facing dog. So you lose the mobility of the shoulders having the forearms down. So again, if you have tight shoulders, you're not necessarily gonna love it. Typically I say arms parallel, but as we get into this and your shoulders start getting tired, the elbows are gonna flare a little bit. I might cue you to tuck them back in. Maybe you need to lower the knees and drag them back in once again. Um, but if, if you don't need to lower the knees, just tuck them back in. And if you need to let them flare a little bit because of the mobility, because of maybe some lack of the flexibility of the shoulders, then by all means, go ahead and do that. A couple of things that may help you, I should have this ready, is to either use an elastic band. You can put an elastic band up here around the bottoms of your triceps or just over your elbows. That can help. That will help you stay a little bit more stable. I like a black band or a red band uh, to keep them drying in. Or you could put a block down and squeeze your elbows in towards that block. As you build up the strength of the lats and the delts, you will be able to keep the elbows in a little bit better, but I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good at dolphin and still my elbows are gonna flare. I'm gonna keep tucking, I'm gonna keep tucking them because they're gonna flare out on you. The other thing that you can do to help maintain strength in this dolphin is to draw the elbows in and roll to the outer edges of the skin of the forearm so that your skin will use will be used as like a band to lock you in. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one minute in each version of dolphin and then we're going to um, not rest. I'm gonna move right through it. So if you need rest, pause at the end of each minute, hit pause on the screen, and give yourself five, six, 10 breaths, and then come back as soon as you can. Or maybe what you do is you do the first half, you do five minutes, and you build up to doing the whole 10. I'm gonna be dead by the end of this. It's gonna be tough. But you know what, guys? What do we say on here? We can do hard things. So let's do some hard things together. Let's do this 10 minute dolphin. We're gonna do both legs, right leg up, left leg up, dolphin push-ups, uh, dolphin jumping jacks where we open the legs as wide as the mat and back together, a right arm funky, so the right hand is gonna be in chaturanga, and then a left-handed funky dolphin, and then we're gonna scissor kick the leg in the air, and then we're gonna shorten that dolphin up, and then we're either gonna hold a forearm stand, or we're gonna hold a forearm stand with the feet on the wall, or you're gonna continue to hold a short dolphin. Either way, let's just do it because we got 10 minutes ahead of us. Let's get her done. Let's start off with a regular dolphin on our marks. Forearms down, grab opposite elbow, get set, and let's go. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and let's not make this any harder than it has to be. Let's just stay in the dolphin. So for a lot of people, you're gonna experience a lot of trap, a lot of trapezius engagement, so these muscles up here are gonna be working. So if you need to drop your head from time to time, drop your head from time to time. You know, let that happen. The hamstrings are quite long here, so make sure that you're doing a little bit of quad activation. You're engaging the front sides of the legs, lift up through the kneecaps, inner thighs working a little bit. You're already 30 seconds into this first little bit of dolphin here. You're pushing out of the shoulders, you're pushing out of the elbow, and you're pushing the chest and the armpits back a little bit. Yeah, so maybe a little head drop, relax the neck. Okay. All right, I can get my heels down, so I probably should get my heels down. That way I can also use this dolphin, hair is getting wild, to um, lengthen the hamstrings. All right, that's the end of the first minute. If you need to rest, rest. Otherwise, right leg up. If you need to kind of hop the left leg to the center, by all means. You know, I think of these very long posture drills that I do sometimes, like marathons. Maybe this one's like a half marathon. <laughs> Either way, uh, I had good advice from my sister, Carrie, who uh, is also was a marathon runner back in her day, and, and her advice was don't look at the mile marker. Don't, don't look at it and go, oh my gosh, mile one, mile two, oh no, I can't do it. So just you know, take each moment as it is. Don't overly think about it. And uh, just kind of stay with the breath. Tell yourself positive things, I can do this, this is hard, but I'm capable of hard things. We got 10 seconds left, and then if you're taking a break, you're gonna pause and take a break. Otherwise, in five seconds, we're gonna switch legs, right leg down, left leg up. Three, two, and one, right leg down, left leg up. This is my tighter hamstring, so I don't love it, but here we 
whatever. You need to re-tuck the elbows, re-tuck the elbows, and kind of just shift a little from side to side. Slow the breath down. Just kind of be in the moment. Push out of the shoulders again. Push the chest back. Let's relax the head for a moment. Next up is going to be those dolphin push-ups. We got 22 seconds, and then we'll be pushing up push-ups in 15 seconds. Either you're going to take a break and take that five, six to ten breaths, and then you're going to meet us up in the push-up, or you're going to just keep it on moving with us because in eight seconds we're transitioning. Both feet will be down. If you're really struggling with the push-up, you can open your feet as wide as your mat. Here we go, feet down. I'm going to keep my feet hips wet. I'm going to move my timer back. I'm going to take my nose up here by my thumbs. I'm going to do these dolphin push-ups where I really lean in, full flexion of the shoulders, 15 seconds in already. Look at us go. Next up will be dolphin jacks. Let's not worry about that right now. Right now, we're just getting through these push-ups. You want to make it a little harder, bring your feet all the way together. Maybe even walk your feet up a little bit. You want to make it a little easier, open the feet wide. That will help to distribute the weight out of the shoulders a little bit. 22 seconds left. 22. Just kidding, see it's already 15. Look at you go. Keep breathing. A little pause at the bottom, push back up. Drop it down, push it back. Five seconds, and then we're gonna do those dolphin jacks. In three, two, and one. Forearms stay down. And you just hop the feet open and closed. Belly is up and in. Keep tucking the hair. You know, we always regret it when we decide to cut bangs, don't we, ladies? Jeez Louise, I need a bar net. You are 20 seconds in. Just hang out, right? Just hang out. We don't need to overthink it. Keep the breath moving smooth, steady. You can do it. Don't listen to the thoughts in your head that start to make excuses or tell you why you can't, you can. You can do it. If you're going to halfway, you've got 20 seconds left and you've already done five minutes of dolphin, way to go. 15 seconds, and those of us that are going on, right arm moves into chaturanga. In 10. Stay light on your feet, up on the balls of the toes, heels stay up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna turn my left hand into a little bit of an angle. Right hand goes back into Chaturanga. Relax the forearm. Adjust that arm. Relax the forearm. I'm still pushing out of that left elbow, out of that left shoulder. And then my right hand is turned out just a little bit. My right elbow draws in. And my right hand is a little bit here for gripping, right? A little gripping. Hang out with it. I know your left shoulder is quivering and shivering and fighting. Maybe drop the head. Relax where you can. Work where you have to. 12 seconds left. And we're going to switch sides. That's going to be a little bit easier because you're probably right arm dominant. Most of us are. It's going to be a little bit easier. Here we go. We're going to switch in three. Two, and one. Right forearm in a little bit of an angle. Left hand back. Push out of that shoulder. We can do it. What's next? Oh, scissor picks. All right. Kneecaps are lifted, quads are engaged. Drop the head for a moment. Right shoulder starting to shake. It's okay. It's okay, it doesn't mean anything that it's too hard for you, that you're not capable. It's just, it's just tough, you know? A lot of things are. A lot of things are. But so are you, you're tough. You can do it, hang out with it. We got 20 seconds left and then we're going to scissor kick the legs. 15 seconds left. <clears throat> left elbow is in, don't let it flare out. We're gonna go into a regular dolphin and then scissor kick the legs. In five seconds, we move this out of the way. Three, two, and one. Both forearms down. And I'm gonna kick off the right and land on the left. Kick off the left, 
Lean on the right. Now you can be all the way down here. Totally fine. Uh, honestly, that's a little bit more work. I like to stack, get the hip up a little high, then I get a little air time, and the shoulders for me get to push back a little bit. Switch the legs, off the ball of the toe, onto the ball of the toe. Stay really light on your feet if possible. So when you land, you let the toes, the ankles, the knee, and the hip all kind of take a little bit of that impact. Keep it soft. That way we're not jarring any of the joints. In 17 seconds, we're gonna take it to a short dolphin. So we're gonna shorten that baby up. And then we're two minutes to go. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Adjust the forearms if you need to. And let's step it up a little shorter than what we like. And this is when it gets really real, right? And I'm really real. Hang out with it, guys. Hang out with it. So if when you're going into your holding posture at the end here, maybe you're going to walk your feet up the wall into an L shape. That would be uh, probably the best option, I would say. If you can hold forearm stand, we're going to hold forearm stand. Just the elbows if you need, tuck them back in, tuck them back in, relax your hands. Maybe relax the head and the neck, lift up through the quads. I forgot to keep it short, keep it short. So the hips are right over the shoulders. I know that your traps and your triceps are starting to burn. That is okay. It's going to happen. We got 10 seconds left. Maybe the elbows are flaring and the hands are turning in. It's all right. We're going to get ready to walk it up or kick it up in three, two, one. I'm going to give you every 10 seconds. So either your feet are on the wall or you're in a forearm stand. You can do this. You are at 10 seconds. Slow your breath down. Don't listen to the thoughts in your head that say it's too hard or you can't. You can't. 20 seconds in. 40 to go. Thirty. Hang in there, guys. You can do hard things. This work will work for you. It's gonna make you stronger mentally, physically. Forty seconds in. Twenty to go. Anybody can do anything for fifteen seconds, right? All right. Soften your hands. You got this. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. Hero's pose for a moment. Just gonna let them hang. Slow the breath down. Soften the shoulders, soften the upper back. That was like so sweaty. Right? All right, let's go into embryo. So it's like a child's pose, but bring your arms back by your shins. So just rest your forehead, arms back, palms up. Ugh. Let them relax. I'm not gonna lie, 10 minutes in dolphin is uh, no joke at all. Super, super tough. So if that was way too hard, you had to take a lot of breaks. Uh, just so you know, like, I was dying, that was super hard. Super tough. So maybe you start with one minute, and then two, and then three, and you build up. Let's bring the arms forward in child's pose now, so sliding forward. You know, I've been working on my pincha and my dolphin for, I don't know, seven years or something, so quite a while. So if you had to lower the knees and take a few breaths, that's okay, that's still a ton of work. It's still a ton of work. And maybe you notice the next time that you come to this video, that you, uh, you know, instead of five breaths, when you rest, you take three or four, you know? So even that is an improvement. Let's make this a puppy pose now. So I'm gonna lift up onto my knees and sink my armpits down. Let's reach the arm forward, so shift forward. And let's sink into a little bit of a puppy pose now. Let the armpits sink down towards the ground, chest or chin forward. All right, guys, not easy. Not an easy one by any means, quite a challenge. So kudos to you for showing up and for doing your very best. Dolphin is no joke. It's a really tough posture. Um, and honestly, you can use it as a great tool to build strength 
and to build some mobility. So hang out with the discomfort. We don't want to hang out with scorching, searing, horrible pain, but discomfort, it's not going to kill you. It'll make you stronger. Very good job today. Drink your water. Share this with a friend. Share it on your social media. Come back to it maybe once a week. Work on that dolphin. You can do it. Have a great day, guys. Oh, subscribe, right? Subscribe, like, follow. Check me out on Instagram. I'm Kelsey Ogie there too. Have a great day, guys. Take care and namaste.